Hello, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today, we will practice intermediate conversations about the body. We will do three conversations. Please speak, listen, and practice as we go through. Before we start, a special note. We will not practice all of the words for the body at the intermediate level. Also, conversations about the body and asking about someone's body can be sensitive. So please be careful as you practice with these questions and this type of vocabulary. Let's start with a beginner warm up. Here are three questions at the beginner level for you to practice. Do you have three arms? Can you touch your head with your foot? How many hands do you have? Please pause and practice these questions. Let's start with the intermediate. Please listen first. What body parts do you have on the top half of your body? My head, shoulders, and arms. Great. Yes. My back and chest are also on the top half of my body. Yes, they are. Practice, me, then you. What body parts do you have on the top half of your body? No, they are not. Yes, they are. Practice, you, then me. My feet are on the top half of my body. You are right. My head, shoulders, arms, chest, and torso are on the top half of my body. You try. Here are some key words to help you practice with this question. Torso, stomach, belly, chest, backside or butt, finger, palm, back, neck, ankle. Pause and practice what body parts do you have on the top half of your body? Listen first. What body parts do you have on the lower half of your body? My legs and feet are on the lower half of my body. Yes. Are your knees on the lower half of your body? Yes, they are. That is correct. Practice, me, then you. What body parts do you have on the lower half of your body? Yes, is your head on the lower half of your body? That's correct. You, then me. My butt, legs, knees, ankles, and feet. No, it is not. You try. Here are those same keywords. Practice what body parts do you have on the lower half of your body? Pause and practice. Listen first. Can you describe your hand? Sure. 
My hand is big and has five fingers. Do you mean four thing fingers and a thumb? Yes, technically. Got it. Practice, me, then you. Can you describe your hand? Why are your fingers short? Okay. You, then me. Yes, my hand has a large palm and very short fingers. I don't know. You try. Here are some key words to help. Hand, finger, thumb, palm, fingernail. Pause and practice. Can you describe your hand? Challenge time. Here are the three questions we practiced with. What body parts do you have on the top half of your body? What body parts do you have on the lower half of your body? Can you describe your hand? Pause and practice those questions. Great job today. There is a beginner lesson on this topic. I'll put it somewhere over here as well as an intermediate playlist where you can watch more videos like this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I got a new microphone. Please tell me if my sound quality is better in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.